How do we start? Bonk. Like that. A set of course. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no apple today, as he's being a scrub, I believe is the yes. term. That's uh, the term. So we're going to do something a bit different. We've got 16 minutes of practice time. Uh, we're in the BMW M3 GT... G something. G something. GT2? Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, yeah, so 15 minutes of practice, basically. Uh, and then we've got qualifying, so we'll see how fast we can get around, and then we'll do the race, all on the one track. And I'm intending to try and uh, reteach myself how to race because you know being around these two you tend to lose it <laughs> so uh, Anubis is tagging along and I'm hoping to pick something up while you're teaching yourself <laughs> and I'm hoping that that Apple doesn't watch these so that I can be better than him <laughs> he's really good at it <laughs> the Shelby Cobra yeah he was Right, so the first thing uh, is hands at 9 and 3. I don't know if you already do that, but that's how you race. And okay, yeah. you, you keep them in that spot. Even when you do a, like a hairpin turn, you go arm over arm. You don't take your hands off those positions, unless it's physically impossible to do so. So that way you always really? know. Yeah, it, it feels uncomfortable, but that way you always know... Uh, where your hands are, how far you've turned, and also if you're using a flappy paddle gearbox, which we both are, uh, well, the car I don't know if it technically is, but we're using it. Uh, that way, your right hand is always change up and left hand's always change down. Mm. Uh, we are okay. automatic. Yes. Uh, but we can still. I, I have been using your trick about gearing down around corners. Yeah, yeah. As you learn the track, you'll learn what gear is right for what corner, and then you try and change down to that sort of gradually as you get to the corner. As really, you're supposed to know how many, like exactly how many revs and that kind of thing. But we're not going to go that in depth because I always, I already sort of hear the sim racers out there complaining. <laughs> Darn it! I oh, see. Did you try to hit me then? No, actually, I was trying to slow down, and I was going too fast, ah. and so I moved and went off the track. So I was trying not to hit you. <laughs> so these these cars are pretty easy to drive, especially with the ABS and traction control. So you can really get around this. It's see, like there. If I did that in another car, that would have ended badly. But mm -hmm. uh, one trick that I like, and I can't remember who told me this, but I don't know how common it is, but to imagine a string, piece of string tied from the very bottom of the steering wheel to your throttle. Uh, so that way, it, if you imagine it, it means that you, the string, if you're turning your wheel, the string is taut and it's pulling the throttle up. So you can only press the throttle down when your steering wheel is straight, if that makes sense. Okay. So it stops you, you, know, you want to be putting the power down, all the way down that is, when uh, all your wheels are aligned. Because if they're not aligned, then you'll end up spinning. And obviously in this car, that probably won't happen, because the um, traction control will step in and correct your mistake for you. Oop. Yeah, so you... That's an interesting idea. And then... We need a good corner. Yeah, this next corner. Um, braking is the opposite to what you expect uh, on the road. Like, when you're driving normally, you will brake softly in uh, and then let the brake... Like, let your brakes off and then turn when you're driving on the road. It's the opposite on the track. Oh shit! Uh oh. It's just bracing, but I think you braked better than I, I broke quite early. But yeah, you want to brake hard to start with, as hard as you can before, sorry, 
I was crashing there, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently I still gesture when talking while driving. <laughs> Just take my hands off the wheel. <laughs> um, but yeah, you want to brake when you're coming into a corner. You want to brake as hard as you can, as fast as you can, without locking your tyres up. It's obviously if you just stamp on your wheel, although with ABS it won't. Again, we've got a computer helping us, but uh, if you just stamp on the brake, you'll lock your tyres up and go flying straight into a fence. But you want to brake as hard as you can, as fast as you can, and then trail brake. So you slowly let the brake off as you turn in to hit the apex of the corner, if that makes sense. So stamp and then... Okay, I think that makes sense. Oh! It does take a bit... Like, it usually takes me a couple of laps to get that, because it's the opposite. Especially with a wheel, with a steering wheel, and a quite realistic game like this. <laughs> you kind of feel like you're doing the wrong thing, because it's the opposite to driving on the road. The problem is then going from this and then back on the road. That, that tends to be dangerous. <laughs> Yeah, I found that out with GTA. <laughs> what, did you try and shoot some hookers? No, I uh, I had a, a brief moment where I thought that I could run red lights. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's, it's enough to scare you, and then... Yeah. And then do the right thing, yes. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Damn it. Oh, yeah, I heard that. <laughs> Alright, and it said, like, as you come around the corner, you should slowly speed up to full as well? Yes. So, if you imagine the string, you can only push your throttle in so far while your co while your wheel isn't right. straight. All right, so you can only be full full throttle when you're straight and you can only be full brake when you're straight and then everything in between on the corners you should be either slowly increasing or decreasing the pedal. Yep. You kind of also pay attention to where your weight is. And part of the reason for trail braking, and actually we should probably take a step back. Do you know about the racing line, which is kind of, which is on the road here for you? But do you know the principles behind that? Um, you might have mentioned it before, but all I know is when it's red, I should be braking. When it's yellow, I probably shouldn't have my full-on gas, and when it's green, I should. <coughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but the idea is, is that corners are slow so you want to try and remove corners as much as possible you want to go as straight as you can through a corner and the straightest and fastest way to get through a corner is to start like if it's a right hand turn you'll start on the outside of the corner which is the left and then you'll try and cut across and hit the apex of the corner on the inside and then you go to the outside again, so it's out and out. Which you can see with the green line, so I think you're behind, right. are you behind me now? Yeah, you are. Uh, I am, yeah, you're up there. So this is the first corner, you'll see the line goes from the left-hand side of the road into the right-hand side of the road and then back out. Uh oh And then because it's a left-hand corner on the next one, it switches sides. Switches sides, yeah. Makes sense. Because physics. Yep. <laughs> but <laughs> not all corners are equal in that you want to do that every single time. Uh, you, will, you can sacrifice the speed of uh, a particular corner. Oh, you caught up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just saw it in my career vision there. Um, 
Yeah, the, the most important corners are the ones leading onto large straights. Because the faster that you're going, the more speed you can gain or lose. So it's all about making sure that you get... Whoops. Crashing. Oh, I followed you. Yeah, it's, it's all about... I think... No, there you are. It's all about um, getting as much speed as you can on the straight. Which means... If there's a corner, for example, if you're going through here, it's better to try and cut that corner uh, a little tighter, like go a bit narrower. So rather than out, in, out, you go out, in, in, in order to get to the next corner, make that as fast as possible, because that's where the straight is. I don't know if that makes okay. sense without diagrams, but like this corner here yeah, is I the most so. important corner on the track, because... You want to get as fast, this, as quick. Yeah. yeah, as quick onto the throttle as you can, because by the end of the straight, you want to be going as fast as you can, because that's when you make up the most speed. So if you're even a slight bit... That's why... Oh, 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 this is bad. I'm not paying attention again. But that that's why um, when you're commenting on other like past videos, uh, why like Apple and I just drove up beside you sometimes on a straight yeah we we started accelerating earlier so by the end of the straight it's uh, exacerbated gotcha again because physics yes damn physics I want to live in the universe where the physics are always in my benefit <laughs> of course everything is always dependent on the car and on the track and the setup of the car and yeah so no basically ah. racing is hard i don't think i've had a good lap yet where i haven't gone off at least once and had the freaking thing cut I've been trying to get around once where I don't get cut. <laughs> I was doing so good this lap. But yes, racing is hard. It is, yeah. So you expect to screw up more than you don't. That's also the only way you learn too, right? If you're always too cautious about everything, then you never learn where you can actually push it a little bit more and where you can't. and. Of course, all I'm learning about is what I can't do right now. <laughs> Although this this run, actually, I think I'm probably learning a bit better. This is probably the first serious racing game that I've ever played, though. You look like you're in the grass. I am. Did you just realize you were in the grass? <laughs> no, I, I was uh, trying far too hard. I was saying something before we got to racing line. Can't remember what it was. Um. Well, we talked about the the rope from your wheel to your pedals. We talked about uh, going in, in like the uh, the roads, going from the right to the left and left to the right around oh, yes. corners. Uh, weight balance. Um. So you want the weight, because this is a rear-wheel drive car, so when you're going forward <laughs> at speed, you want the weight being on the back to give the most grip to the back tires, but when you're um, turning, you want the weight to be on the front tires. Obviously not too much either way, you want it to be balanced, but uh, that that's part of the reason why trail braking is done. So on the road, 
trail breaking is generally not recommended. You are taught to uh, sort of break softly in and then stop braking, like release the brake, then turn. <laughs> Whereas in racing it's hit the brake as hard as you can, as fast as you can, then slowly let it up until you hit the apex of the corner. And that keeps the weight on the front of the car because you're slowing down, which gives you the most grip as possible on your front wheels. But I think that then past that point starts getting more technical. So we should probably focus on this bit. <laughs> Damn it. And there we go. I just did it once again. Doing so good. And then I'm not. <laughs> ah, oh, and now I'm just spinning. Oh, oh, oh sorry, sorry. Nope, I, I just did that. kind of went there. <laughs> So you see that corner there, the left and right, you take the first left tighter so that it gives you the best possible exit on the right because that leads onto the straight. Oh, oh and that's the that end of the video. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, we've done our practice, so in the next video, we will be excellent in the qualifying, where we try and get the best time as like possible. <laughs> so it's serious next okay. video. Serious business. Yes, all the crashes in that one didn't count. <laughs> okay. So goodbye. <laughs>